Dr. Tay again, back with some more information on cannabis medicine. Today I'd like to talk about terpenes. What are terpenes? Terpenes are the aromatic, volatile compounds in plants, flowers, fruits, and other plant matter. So they're the, the beautiful smells that we get in lavender. That terpene's called linalool. The smell of a mango comes from myrcene. That's the terpene in a mango. What's the amazing thing about terpenes? Out of the thousands of terpenes that are possible to find on this planet in all types of plants, all of those terpenes can be expressed in the cannabis plant. That's what gives them their aroma, that's what gives them their flavor, and that's what adds to their medicinal qualities. So terpenes, through direct action and synergistic action with cannabinoids, exert and modulate the effect of medicinal cannabis. Though medical cannabis effects come mainly through the main cannabinoids such as THC and CBD, a good knowledge of terpene profiles will allow for more specific personal prescription by the doctor. What does this mean? It means that those terpenes in the, in the marijuana and the cannabis that add the smell and the flavor to these, these plants are very important medicinally. This is a, this is a little pictogram here indicating some of the main terpenes that we, I find useful in my practice. So alpha pinene, as I mentioned in a previous podcast, if you're listening, it's often associated with sativa medications. It's the smell of, that comes from pine needles. Um, it's anti-inflammatory. It's a bronchodilator. It aids in memory and it's antibacterial. Linalool, the terpene from lavender. It's anesthetic. It has anticonvulsant Act, uh, activity, so it's useful in epilepsy. Uh, it's an analgesic and it reduces anxiety, so it's anxiolytic. Myrcene, also found in the hops plant that we make beer of and found in mangoes. It's often found in uh, indica variety medications and is responsible for the strong sedative or couch lock effect that you find with some of these really strong medications. Interestingly, myrcene increases the effect of THC in our bodies and makes it more effective. And that's why we do get that large sedative effect from it. Limonene is uh, the terpene found in citrus, citrus fruits and also in the cannabis plant. It's useful for treating acid reflux. It's great as an anti-anxiety and antidepressant. It's, it's uplifting, it's energizing. But perhaps my favorite terpene of all, you shouldn't have favorites, but I do, it's beta caryophylline So this is a terpene which is found in, in black pepper. It's also found in pain relieving strains of, of medical cannabis. Now this terpene is so amazing because it binds directly to the cannabis 2 receptor. Cannabis 2 receptors are associated with in inflammation and immune response. So it assists our body's own endocannabinoids and when we put plant or phytocannabinoids into our system, it assists the effectiveness, effectiveness of these cannabinoids in reducing inflammation in our, in our bodies. So terpenes. An amazing part of the cannabis plant that all come together to add to the entourage effect of cannabis. The sum of the whole, sum of the parts is greater than the whole. It all comes together and makes for a more powerful medication. So when choosing your medicinal cannabis medication or talking to your cannabis clinician, ask them about the terpenes. Ask them about which one should be used in my, in my prescription, what's best for me. And that's very specific because cannabis medicine is specific and personalized medicine. So we can use these to our advantage. Thanks, I'm Dr. Tay.